Now then, my next guest is one of Hollywood's hottest young actors. He's notched up a string of leading roles, including the romantic comedy Confessions of a Shopaholic, alongside Isla Fisher. His next movie, Adam, is set to be one of this summer's biggest box office hits. It's Hugh Dancy. Hugh, it's so lovely to see you. It's great to see you. And great to see a Brit doing so well. Thank you. Love it. Yes. <laughs> Hurrah. And not playing a villain all the time. <laughs> no, no, no. Not not by choice. Just seems to have worked just out the way that way. Just the way the roles yeah. have been. Now, Adam is a very, very unusual story because we've... Mm. We, I just thought they'd done every single romantic story they possibly could, especially in New York City. Mm. But this is so different because Adam is so different. The character, yeah. right. That, that's, what, uh, that's what I felt as soon as I picked up the script mm. and started reading it. Um, I found myself wondering, you know, what is it about this guy that there was clearly something unusual about him? What we discover um, is eventually that, that he has Asperger's syndrome it's, uh, on the autistic spectrum. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I just liked the fact that it was a, it was a kind of classic romance with this unusual twist mm. to it. I liked him. I liked him yeah. a lot. He was, you know, in amongst everybody else who, who kind of told half-truths. It's that honesty that just shone right through all the time. Right, absolutely. Which is kind of sometimes very sweet, sometimes quite painful, and, and also a, a good source of, of humour, you yes. know, if, if you treat it carefully. Yeah. Yeah. No, very much so. We've talked about it. Let's have a, let's have a wee look. I have this thing that's called Asperger's Syndrome. Oh. Albert Einstein, Thomas Jefferson, Mozart. They had Asperger's? Probably. When you love somebody, it's hard to think about anything but to breathe. He lives in another world. You don't need to make that kind of compromise. No, you don't make my decisions. It's hard to figure out. I can see that you're upset, but I don't know what to do. Could you give me a hug? Yes. Adam, I'd like you to give me a hug. When you love somebody, it's hard. It's that literal sense that he's got. Yeah. You know, you have to actually say to him, can you give me a hug? It's very, very specific. <laughs> and, yes. and all the, the little phrases that we rely on, um, I remember reading one a book uh, by, by a guy who has Asperger's and the phrase that I remember he was confused by was when somebody said, well, I'm a bit under the weather. Mm. And he thought, well, we're all under the weather. <laughs> well, we you are. Know? Yeah, yes, we, we are. And, uh, you know, take a seat, yeah. that kind of thing. Take a seat, your heart. Um, he would probably think, where, where have I to take yeah, it? OK, where do you want me to put it? Yeah. Um, and, and that's the... I mean, as I say, there's a lot of comedy and humour in mm. that, but that, that's also the, the real... The obstacle that he has to overcome when, yeah. it, when it comes to making a connection with another person, mm. with, with um, Beth is the name of the character, yeah. played by Rose Byrne. Mm. Um, he's just got those, those extra hurdles to leap. Mm. But, you know, what, what, uh, what appealed to me about it was that I felt it, it, it just, I recognised it. I don't have mm. those particular problems myself, but I know about the problems no, of, of course. You know, trying to form a connection with somebody and, and so forth. And that's so. what it was like. That's exactly what it was like. Yeah. And what I liked about it too, when there was humour, it was never he was never the butt of that. You were always you were always yeah. on his side. Yeah, All absolutely. the way through you were on God his side. God forbid we should have never. made a story in which, you know, he we'd like, look, laugh at this never. odd, odd no, character. No. I mean um, and and also tried to show that that he's you know, he's not totally um, unhumorous himself. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, and the, the obstacle I mean the, the challenge for me was to was to um, kind of show the audience very slowly but try and give them a sense of who he was mm. you know what what it might be like looking at the world through his eyes i mean i know you obviously don't make a movie to sort of change people's attitudes sometimes you know mm. but i guess you can and i really do think yeah. that you will bring huge understanding about autism and asperger's in particular uh, and i think that's fantastic that you've been able yeah. to do that and you've got it just right well, it's, thank you. it's it really is very 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 good but it's always a bit of a responsibility that isn't it because you've got to get it yeah, yeah. There, there is a responsibility, and, and I was helped enormously by the people that, I mean, there's a, there's a, you can imagine a huge community of people who live with people with Asperger's and, and work with them and help them, and, and then obviously um, people who have Asperger's themselves, and, and they were so generous towards me and so determined to help me get it right that I was, you know, I, it, I would have... We've had a great response from, for the movie, but, but honestly, if I had felt like I had misrepresented them, it would have counted of for course, nothing. You know? But like you say, the, the, the fact that you feel that you're telling, maybe doing something useful or important is, is almost secondary. You can't allow that to yeah. carry you through. You mm. um, just have to do your job. But it has been, you've had a fantastic career and it just gets better and better. I, mean, I remember you and Elizabeth, I think that was when, yeah. and, and all of these things that we've seen you obviously on British telly. And then, you know, you've had this, well, these breakout roles. It's fantastic, it's really good. Uh, Touching yeah. wood. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> no, I really... can't complain. It's been no. amazing. And what, I've, what I'm really grateful for is that I've had the opportunity to, I mean, like you said, with Confessions of a Shopaholic and then something like this, so which, which has been really different. Yeah. And, and I've, I've, that's why I really count myself lucky. Mm. Um, I love what I do, but I particularly love that variety. Absolutely. I mean, you're, you're a sort of actor's actor, I would think. You're, you're one of these people that's not in it because you want to toddle up red carpets. No, that's <laughs> not, my, that's not my, my kind of dream evening. No. Um, but, you know, I, I love both sides of it. I, it's, I'm not... Um, I'm not kind of snobbish about the big no, blockbuster no, no, movies. No, no, no. I, I love entertainment. Mm. I go and see them myself, and, and I want to entertain, you know. Mm. But sometimes when a story like this comes along, um, that's, that's just a little... I mean, you, you're saying just before we started the, the, um, before we started the interview that, that, that it's just unusual to read something or see something that has this intelligence running through yes, it. Absolutely, it's really, absolutely. really smart, and yet... I mean, I found it really connects with people. Oh, no, very, very yeah. much so, very much so. You're part of, if you like, you know, if you want to call it a celebrity couple because you happen to go out with somebody who acts as well, yeah. does that mean double the attention or is it all right? Because I imagine the two of you don't go out to the places where you will get photographed taking you and Claire. You tend to... Yeah, we, we don't so much, no. So uh, much more tend, Yeah, no, I find the best uh, policy is kind of not to engage with it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's very wise. <laughs> Long may you continue to do so. Thank you. Good luck with the movie. I'm sure it's going to be a huge success. Oh, it's thanks, a beautiful Marie. film. Thanks Thank so you much. very, very much indeed. Thank you.